To show you guys really quick what um, some stuff I picked up for school. Here is Mouse. Oh, okay. Um, so I got this Trapper Keeper because a lot of my school stuff has just kind of been on my desk and when I want to use my desk for art stuff it just feels like there's a lot of clutter and I don't know where to put everything so I got this thing and I figured that when I'm done with working on school for the day, I can just kind of pack it all up in here. So this is what it looks like. It's got areas for your stuff, like loose paper and stuff like that. It's got this zipper compartment, I'm guessing for pens, and then this little pouch area. And then this part, obviously, to keep your paper. And I picked up just another thing of paper um, to put in here. I don't know how much I'm going to actually be using this particularly, but it just felt weird not to have paper when you get these things and then this section and then you just zip it all up and it has like an easy access zip area here so you don't have to unzip the whole thing you can just unzip this part and just grab what you need if you need to but I don't really foresee myself using that part and then I picked up this notebook which is a focus notes um, this is more for my dictation so as you can see um, it just has like a cue here and then your notes and you can write a date which will be useful for me because I'm trying to keep track of all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to use this mo mainly for words that I'm writing down and just my dictation in general, how it's going, just so I can kind of keep track of that because I hadn't been. Um, I'll get back into that a little more at another point, but yeah, I got this for my dictation. And then I got this wire organizer for my desk. I was in great need of this, so this should be helpful so my wires don't fall everywhere. And then I picked up these pens, which are so cute. Look at them. These are so adorable. But they actually write, like, surprisingly well. Something. So smooth. And then I got this and a bear pen which is also super cute. So yeah, that's basically all the stuff that I picked up for school. This should help me be a little more organized, I'm hoping, but time will tell. Okay, this isn't the greatest spot to film right now because their sun is literally coming in behind here and through this window, so we're just going to try to make the best of it. So court reporting, yeehaw, what is court reporting? Somebody who makes a verbatim transcript of court 
proceedings. All that happens in the courtroom, at depositions, stuff like that. If you notice on TV, so those machines, if you see like an old lady in the corner typing away on a machine, that is a steno machine. That's the most known type of court reporting machine. I think that's how it kind of started was with a steno machine. And then voice recording became an option using a steno mask, which is what I do. That's what I chose to do. And then there's also digital court reporting, which is, I don't think you use a machine or anything like that. It's more like doing stuff on your computer with a specific type of program, which the other two you use a program too, but you're making a very detailed verbatim record of the court proceedings through dictation or writing, and then afterwards you write up a transcript. So that is basically what a court reporter is. Like I said, I decided to do court reporting with a stenography mask. That's a silencer mask, which I can show you in just a minute what mine looks like, and just kind of the stuff that I use for it. I don't want to get too, too much into it here. I want to make kind of a separate video kind of detailing what it is and the stuff that you need and the class I would recommend to take for it, just all that kind of stuff. Right now I am doing a court reporting class through this really wonderful person. Her class isn't readily, it's not available now, but it will be. Um, so right now I'm just kind of like a guinea pig in her class and it's going really great so far. It's a lot, it's a lot to learn. It's, I still, I'm just, a, I call myself like a baby court reporter. I'm just kind of at this point, just training my mask. Um, there's just this whole other side to it. There's lots of detail and it's mostly just practicing your dictation voice and that's a whole nother ball game. So if anybody is like really interested in the profession, um, just like leave a comment down below. I would love to start just like a playlist of court reporter or court reporting Q and A's or facts or just anything that you might be interested in. I don't have a lot to add to it right now except just getting started and I might do a video kind of detailing that kind of stuff if anybody's interested, just things you might need because when I first started, I, I was just a floundering little fish. I had nobody, I didn't know what I was doing and I was very stressed out and um, I was fortunate enough to come in contact with some really great women that gave me some insight and help and they mentored me and helped me to figure out where I need to go. So very, very grateful for how it all came about. But I wanted to show my desk setup for the court reporting world. Okay, so this is kind of how my desk is looking at an overview. Again, this was kind of like, this was my art desk. Like this desk was supposed to be where I work with clients, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden I kind of came across this profession and it's kind of just turned into a school work type of a desk, but we'll get started over here. So the laptop that I chose for my class, um, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad. It's a really nice computer. I really like it. The um, the keyboard's really nice, even though I don't use it that much, but it's, it's nice. Um, it suits my needs. It's got a lot of stuff on it because to start out in the court reporting world, at least for what I'm doing, um, you need a lot of space and storage and this thing needs to be a beast. So that's basically what it is. Um, and now the more interesting part, this is my stenography mask. So this is my stenography mask. I just turned the camera back around because this was going to make it a little bit easier. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a, um, it's a love hate relationship with this thing right now. <laughs> so basically this is a silencing mask. I got a, this is called a talk sock. I don't know if I would recommend it or not, <laughs> to be honest. I know a lot of people like them. It's mainly like how well you are that kind of defines how well your mask is going to work, if that makes any sense. You speak into this part. This is a little foam, kind of like it diffuses your voice a little bit and I think it helps with moisture. It's just a little foam pad. And then there's a microphone that's down inside of there that obviously catches your audio. And then I just put this little piece of, I think it's like a sham wow, sham cloth in there. It just kind of helps with noise deadening in this part. So how you put it on is you basically, so you just put it, over your mouth. This is me talking at a normal volume, if you can hear that. So, I don't know if you could hear that or not. Again, I'm still a baby dictator, so I don't, I'm not very good yet. <laughs> so I'm very much practicing my dictation voice. When you're speaking into this thing, you have to speak in a low, monotone, robotic voice, and that can be very difficult. But yeah, that's basically the mask. I don't really want to pull it apart, but underneath I just have this noise deadening tape. I don't know if it works, but it's there. So I covered the whole thing in it. And then you can get like a talk sock like this, or you can get just some vet wrap and just wrap it around the mask a bunch of times. And then you can get different mouthpieces. This just happens to be the one that works all right. I keep kind of going between different ones because the mouthpieces that TalkTech sells, they aren't, I wouldn't say they aren't the best. 
I just think that there might be better options. So yeah, this is the main, the main thing. When you finish your court reporting school, you have to go and take tests and get certified by the state and or your national tests and you have to use your mask. So I practice on this thing a lot because I have to make sure that my dictation is good enough so that I can pass my test. So that's the mask. And then this is your open mic. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the programs have you practice on one of these and on the mask, but basically if you're doing remote work, you would use your open mic um, to dictate on. This thing is so much easier to work with. Your voice doesn't need to be as quiet as it does with this thing, but it does still need to be low robotic monotone just so that it's just easier for the program to pick up your speech that way. For my program, I'm going to be doing a court reporting English class. I basically have to learn this entire book, which is Bad Grammar, Good Punctuation by Margie Wakeman Wells. So I'm excited to see how this is going to go. I was always very good in English, so. I'm hoping this won't be too, too bad. And then this is just the workbook that goes with it. So I have all this stuff. So as you can imagine, when I'm working, my desk does get pretty cluttery. So I have this binder. So when I'm done, I'm just gonna throw everything in here and then hopefully it'll be a little more organized. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking because my voice is getting hoarse. I'm going to pick up the house. I need to work on some other projects. Okay, bye.